Four months ago, Roblox got sued for $10 million by a 12-year-old kid and actually won. Yes, you heard me correctly, a 12-year-old kid, and I'm not actually smoking. How did this even happen? Did Roblox mess up this bad because $12 million is a lot of money and a lot of Robux. This 12 year old could literally buy a whole country from this or even an island. But what was the aftermath and how did this kid's parents react and actually what happened? I'm about to show you guys all of this right now. Please like and subscribe right now and subscribe to the Mythical Plays Roblox channel. Before this video starts, a huge shout out goes to Ruben Sim and subscribe to his YouTube channel right now. The link down below before we start this video. Apparently a kid literally sued Roblox for $10 million and actually won. Okay, so what does this guy have to say and how did this even happen? Only after we had paid 10,000 Robux. Oh my to gosh. Work, we asked for a refund and we didn't get one. Oh my goodness. I made a video about this and one of the biggest questions people had was why can't you just sue Roblox? Oh. The answer is because all of us have technically agreed to the terms of service. The excruciating that is long contract that actually Roblox a good idea. That is actually a good point. I'm on my Roblox profile right now because just today Roblox made a new agreement right now. To continue using Roblox, please select I agree to agree to our updated terms of use and acknowledge our privacy policy. If you are a minor, please show this to your parent or guardian. Changes have been made to the following agreements, terms of use and privacy policy. I agree. But guys, what this guy actually means is actually pretty shocking. See my friends, 150 friends right now. All I'm going to do is log out of my account and create a new one right now. All I'm going to do is literally just make it March 8th, my mom's birthday, and I'm just going to make it Mr. Top. I'm just going to make it Nixter V. I love you. And what I'm literally going to do, oh, I'm just going to put it as I love you five. And what is actually happening if I literally sign into this random Roblox account I just made, if I sign up right now, by signing up, we're agreeing to the terms of use, including the early cause and you will acknowledge the privacy policy what this guy actually means if, if I just create a new tab and just keep on doing this basically when I click sign up I am agreeing to all of this right now if I scroll all the way down this is a long document and if I sign up right now I agree to that and also all of this too which I'm not gonna read right now but you get the point that is literally the Roblox rules and if I break it, if I don't follow it, that means I get banned. So, how did this kid sue Roblox for $10 million and successfully made it? Okay, let's watch this right now. Regardless of how much you paid for them. Also included is an agreement that you can't sue them. Wow, go figure. Oh Instead, my you gosh, go you can't them. sue them. So, how did this kid sue Roblox successfully? Mandatory informal dispute resolution. Concepts that I'm sure all of the 10-year-olds on Roblox are very familiar with. Okay. But what if I were to tell you that this legally binding document may not apply to everyone? In oh my fact, gosh. There's a loophole that applies to nearly half of Roblox's users, one that's cost Roblox a significant amount of money. Oh this my gosh. Of the 12 year old girl who cost Roblox. Okay, so she was a 12 year old girl. And for some reason, why do I think this 12 year old girl is Lil Tay? Ruben Sim, you better explain how. Okay, so what is this? Ruben Sim actually explained it really, really well. So everyone subscribe to him. Okay, what is he doing? Okay, she's playing Roblox. All right. Jane Doe discovered Roblox in 2009. Jane Doe! She was 10 years old. She pulled up the sign up page right. where she entered her birthday, username, password, and gender. Okay. And right above the bright green sign up button, a fine print read. By clicking sign up, you are agreeing We obviously to know this. Use. That's right. All 30 pages of college level legalese. It's only a two hour read for an adult. Yeah, I am not reading that. I don't know about you guys. Likely still believes that this is a perfectly valid, legally binding procedure. Okay. I want to give a huge shout out to War Thunder for making this video. Oh my god. Her avatar using the handful of free okay. items, but eventually grows tired of her small selection and asks her parents to start buying her Robux. Alright, I'm going to increase the settings right now. Virtual shopping spree. 
Over the next two years, okay. she would continuously expand her virtual wardrobe until one day she logs in and realizes several of her items are missing. Oh my gosh! She suddenly removed products. That's she literally sad. No warning, no notice, and worst of all, no refund. Why would Roblox do this? These exactly. items were completely in line with Roblox's rules. Besides, as far as Jane knew, all items had to be pre-screened by moderation. So it's Roblox so basically Roblox literally just Let broke their own terms of them. use and privacy policy. To remove them without even offering a refund. As no more refund, more no nothing. From Jane's inventory without any explanation, Jane decided to spend more Robux to replace items that she thought would be hers permanently. This okay. process created a cycle of spending that slowly drained money from her account and her dad's wallet. Oh my Unsure gosh. Of why his daughter was spending so much Robux, Mr. Doe decided to investigate. Mr. He found Doe. That not only was Roblox deleting items that didn't violate the rules, they were also approving items that never should have been allowed. Oh my gosh! Okay, well... Removed, Roblox would recommend exact copies. This unlicensed Nike top was approved for sale by Roblox Moderation. After being bought thousands of times, that is insane. For and that's kind of what the problem we have section, about these Roblox fake dominances the for a copy and literally the exact same product. The from the exact <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain, they guys. Also found a glass door review from an alleged former moderator who claims that Roblox gave him oh a my content gosh. deletion quota. The manager that was in charge of us demanded that we have a set quota on the amount of content and accounts moderated each day. On the amount of and content and accounts day. moderated Even each going day. going as far as to banning users off the platform who've clearly done, done nothing, nothing that violated exactly. our trust and safety policies. The way we were required to treat the platform's users just to meet the required quota was the last straw. Oh my gosh. Mind, Roblox makes a lot of money off this. Every player to player transaction nets Roblox 30% of the sale through a marketplace fee. By constantly deleting people's items, Roblox was driving more sales at the expense of their own customers. That Jane is completely sad. Items. If she knew that Roblox could remove her items for no reason, she never would have bought them in the first place. From her father's perspective, and that's also honestly a waste of money too. Taking advantage of not just his daughter, but millions of other users subject to the same treatment. And so he lawyered up and filed a class action lawsuit. Oh my goodness. You can think of civil court cases like these as tennis matches between lawyers. The plaintiff makes the first serve by filing a complaint, outlining all the reasons why the defendant deserves a lawsuit. Then the defendant right. can return the serve by filing a motion to dismiss. The plaintiff can file a response to this motion and the defendant can enter a final reply. And from here, the judge will decide if the case should be dropped. If the case right. is dropped, it's over. Everyone goes home. But and if the judge decides the case should go forward, the real battle begins. Oh my goodness. Roblox versus a 12-year-old girl. The civil litigation is an all-out war, with every move costing ungodly amounts of time and money, potentially ending with the defendant being plundered for untold riches. Oh my gosh. Simply put, Roblox really wants to win. Jane Doe's counsel makes the first serve with a complaint that reads, The predatory conduct taking place on defendant's platform reaches far beyond that which occurs at the hands of other nefarious... Oh my gosh! Defendant itself seeks to fleece its own users financially in a clever content-deleting scheme. Alright. <laughs> but there's something you should know about Roblox's legal team. They're managed far better than the moderation. So are we playing it's tennis or are we just are I am really confused, dude. Major league lawyers. They file a master class of a motion to dismiss that begins with five pages of case oh law references, my a dozen legal gosh. and a written declaration from Roblox's senior director of product promising that is to crazy. called as a witness. All of this contributes to two main points. That is insane. One, Jane is legally bound by the terms of service because she agreed to them by signing up. This tiny bit of fine print is proof enough that Jane gave up her right to file this lawsuit as soon as she made her account. Two, right. the lawsuit is pointless because Roblox already gave Jane a refund uh, but after she filed the lawsuit. And guess what? Oh, yeah. It just rolled out their all new automatic refund program. Wow. Literally yeah. after. After the lawsuit, possibly grant the plaintiff the case should be dismissed. That is literary evidence. Is a great Roblox is literally okay because the complaint says she didn't get one. The motion says she did. The response says, uh, no, she didn't. We checked, and the reply says again that she totally did. Oh my gosh. 
It would be easy to confirm this fact if plaintiff would simply tell Roblox the username of her Roblox account. Something plaintiff bada bing, bada boom. concealed and refused to provide but Roblox. But that is actually not what happened. Filed more than eight months ago. Even Roblox David Bazuki so literally came out. Refund program. They just assumed that Jane received her refund. Okay. When this case reached the judge, he wrote, Roblox argues that this case is moot. I disagree. First, the claims for damages are not moot. At that least is absolutely the parties disagree insane. about whether Doe actually received this credit. Additionally, a voluntary program whose full scope Hope is not yet known is less certain to remedy harm than a judicial judgment. Okay. Is not yet known. Received this credit. Additionally, a voluntary program whose full scope is not yet known is less certain to remedy harm than a judicial judgment. Oh my okay, gosh. So Roblox lost the mootness argument, but what about the terms of service? This is probably one of the most important legal arguments Roblox has at its disposal. Most of their motion hinges on the terms legally applying to Jane. She signed up, so technically she agreed, right? In huh. California contract law, simply agreeing to a contract isn't enough for it to be legally binding. The parties have to okay. understand what they're agreeing to, and the plaintiff argues in their response, Roblox can't show that Jane understood or even read this contract. Even if Roblox Oh, that is a good I, that is a good counterattack. I must say. Up, they are assenting to a contract. Roblox cannot make a similar showing regarding children, which is important here because Roblox knows at the point of registration how old the user is. A 10-year-old child like plaintiff likely mm. does not appreciate the fact that they have entered into a contract when they register. I mean, how is a 10-year-old kid is supposed There's to like a read a 32 Two page in document. order to agree to these terms, you need to be 18 or older or have your parent or guardian's consent to agree to the terms. Oh, Roblox come on. Doesn't confirm that users under 18 have this consent, unlike platforms like YouTube, which ask for your parents' email or phone number if you're a minor. And okay. so, in their final reply, Roblox simply says that although she contends otherwise, plaintiff assented to the Roblox terms and is therefore bound by them. Nice. And the Honorable William H. Oric rules in favor of... Who? Jane. The judge writes, She was 10 years old. Roblox knew her age. Okay. It did not require her to get an adult's permission or I supervision. Mean, didn't say that in the terms of use. She was agreeing to complicated terms of use was a not-so-conspicuous disclaimer above a bright green sign-up button. Here, oh both putative contracting parties were aware that Doe was a minor. In light of that fact, it is unreasonable to conclude that she manifested objective assent to be bound. With the terms Goodness. of service being out of commission, most of Roblox's arguments fell apart. It's a complete Goodness. disaster. Half of Roblox's users are under 13. If this ruling sets oh, a precedent gosh. for future lawsuits, any child under similar circumstances can do this. sue Roblox, get past their arbitration clause and their class action waiver, and anything else that hinges on the terms of service. Think about all the children Roblox is pissed off through falsely banning them. Think about all the victims of exploitation who are misled by Roblox's safety claims. With the motion to dismiss largely denied, Roblox filed the official answer to the complaint, listing out all their defenses and denying nearly all allegations. Nine months later. Okay, After let's react to this. After mediation, like a newborn baby, a settlement was finally born. Hooray! It's right. a boy! In it, Roblox reveals that 8 million accounts lost roughly 2 eight billion million? by having their items deleted. Oh That's my gosh! Million dollars. That is Roblox literally... to create a $10 million settlement fund, which that returns is insane. half of the alleged losses back to everyone in the U.S. They also guarantee that an automatic refund program will be in place for at least four years. And based on information from the last four years, this program stands to prevent losses of at least $25 million and already Dude. prevented the loss of more than half a million Robux. You, oh the my viewer, gosh. have likely received a message about this lawsuit from the official Roblox account. It reads, Where, where, where? Just kidding. It says, <laughs> As oh, part of okay. a class action settlement, Roblox has agreed to establish I a settlement I think I got that message. I don't yeah, I think I remember getting for that. The benefit of Roblox but I didn't think too much of it. I didn't really read it and who have not yet received a full credit or refund. Such users will automatically receive a oh credit my of gosh. Robux to their account without having to take any action. If an eligible user's share of the settlement fund exceeds a value of $10, 
Such users may submit Dang, a Roblox is to receive their share as a Roblox is literally pulling out ten million dollars thinking that it's Not nothing. Only did everyone get millions of dollars of free Robux, Roblox users have their rights recognized in a court of law. And it's all thanks to twelve year old Jane Doe. Jane Ruben Sim. Doe. And this is the story of how a twelve year old called That is literally insane. That is the story about Jane Doe and how she sued Roblox. Subscribe for more.